Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, today I want to talk about some cruise ship cabins, at least the locations, that you should just try and avoid altogether. So when you're getting to re ready to book your cruise cabin and you, you, you know the ship you want to go on, you know when you want to go on, before you book the cabin and just say balcony cabin, check the deck plan. L Google it, find the deck plan of the cruise ship and look around because there's some places you don't want to be. Number one, try and avoid elevators. Now, on some cruise lines, it's not an issue. If you're going on a cruise line that caters to mostly an older population and a quieter crowd, um, you know, a Holland America, a Princess cruise line, uh, a Cunard cruise line, where there's not a, not a lot of younger people, not a lot of partying, not a lot of drink package kind of system, then you're probably okay. However, if you're on a cruise, say to Cabo on Carnival on a four day weekend, you're probably gonna have a lot more people who are drinking. And when they come back from their drinking, cause there's late night bars, they have the drink package, they've been out partying. And when the, they finally decide to head back to their cabins around 2 a.m. in the morning, they're gonna take the elevators and they're not necessarily gonna be the most quiet people in the world. Also, some elevators tend to be really, really busy on port days. So you might decide like you're going on an, ex everyone's going on an excursion. So they're all gearing up to get down the elevators to head off on their excursions early, early in the morning. You might not be on an excursion. You might be trying to sleep in and they're out there talking and getting ready and the doors are banging. It, avoid the elevators. If you're if noise is something that would bother you on a cruise some people it doesn't bother some people like to be near the elevator Because it's convenient, right? You come off the elevator bam. There's your cabin You don't have to walk down the long hallway if you have mobility issues things like that But if you if noise is a concern avoid cabins near elevators all the time also you should also avoid the obvious places don't book a cabin above the theater or under the pool deck. Now, some cruise ships are quite good under the pool deck. You don't hear a lot of the noise, but some of the older ships and some ships' designs, you hear every chair scraping across the pool deck. You hear people jogging on the jogging track. You hear people in the basketball court bouncing the basketball. And if you're down lower and you're in the theater, you're gonna hear them rehearse in the theater, you're gonna hear the shows in the theater, and, it, and they play sometimes two, three times a night, you're gonna hear that in your cabin every single time. So always try and avoid those areas. Another place to avoid, look on the deck plan because some ships, especially the larger ships, have clubs on different decks. So you say, oh, the theater's always on deck four and five or six and seven. And then uh, you book a cabin on 10 to find out there's a nightclub underneath you on deck nine in the middle of the ship. Yeah, you want to avoid those kind of cabins if noise again is a concern for you because it can be very, very disturbing to hear all that all the time. It, it just can be crazy. Another place to avoid, if you have any kind of motion sickness or if you don't like the feeling when the ship is moving at all, avoid the front of the ship, the bow of the ship. The closer you are to the, the front of the ship, the more you're gonna hear and feel the waves hitting the ship. You're gonna feel the bang. You're gonna feel the shudder in your room a lot more. Also, the ship will go up and down far more, it seems, in the front than it does in the aft of the ship. Because the front hits the wave and pushes through it like this, the aft kind of just rides the wave after you've gone through it and it's traveled down the length of the ship. So if that's a, something that's a concern, if you're really a motion sickness person, or you really just hate the feeling and the noise when a ship, it makes you nervous, avoid the front of the ship. 
you know, mid forward and back, fine. Forward forward, you're gonna feel that all the time. I got two more cabins to try and avoid when you're booking, uh, but before I get there, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you wanna keep up to date with all things cruising, from sip tips and tricks and cabins to avoid, to all the cruise news that's going on from ship cancellations to new ships coming online and visiting exotic locations around the world and even just around the corner. I hope you'll join us to have a lot of fun here on the channel. We just talk about cruising and we just try and be as entertaining as possible. And I really do hope you'll join us. Just, just hit the subscribe, it doesn't cost anything, but it really does help the channel out and I'd really appreciate it. Okay, next. A place to also avoid that a lot of people just, it doesn't even dawn on them because they don't think, uh, you know, it should be very loud. No, it doesn't. Another place you might want to avoid is cabins above the casino. The casino runs late, late at night, and those slot machines can often be very, very loud, especially when someone wins some sort of jackpot. Not even a huge jackpot. A jackpot of like two, three hundred dollars. The bells can go off and the noise and the music. And if your cabin's above that, you're gonna hear it till two, three, four, five in the morning, depending on the cruise line. Because some cruises, that casino is packed from the time it opens till the wee hours of the morning. So if that's noise again, just noise. Noise is always a concern when you're talking your cabin because the cabin is the place you sleep and you wanna be as quiet as possible. So you know where else? You know what other cabin you should avoid? Cabins that have adjoining staterooms. Check on the deck plans. You'll often see that little line between cabins or an X between cabins. That tells you that those two cabins have a door that connects. Now, <laughs> let me tell you, cruise ship cabins are not the most soundproof cabins in the world. They're uh, pretty much paper thin, right? Think office cubicle, the little, <laughs> little fake wall they put up there. That's pretty much your cruise ship cabin wall. Well, it makes it even worse when you take away some of that wall and just have a thin door there. You can hear almost everything from crying children to people having arguments to people having the opposite of an argument, if you know what I mean. You, you get my picture. You can hear everything quite often, in, especially in some cruise cabins. It's, it's ridiculous how much noise can come through that little doorway uh, opening compared to when it's not there. I thought nothing of it for a while, and then I got next to a cabin that had two children that were not happy to be on this cruise. And they cried day and night for seven days solid into the wee hours of the morning. And I always regret it booking that cabin because of that door. It's, it's something you want to avoid when you can because like I said, you hear everything. You just hear everything and you don't get a good night's sleep. They're perfect if you're multifamily and you have cabins side by side or you know the people beside you, that's fine. When you don't know the people beside you, those people become annoying. <laughs> it's as simple as that. And finally, a little bonus one. Uh, when you're booking, a lot of people, if you're just looking for saving money, and you're booking your cabin and you see, you know, OB beside the, cab the cabin. So you're looking at a balcony that says OB beside it or an ocean view and it says OB. Those are obstructed balconies and obstructed view. They could be anything from, instead of a glass balcony in front of you, it's a metal balcony. They consider that partially obstructed view. Or it could be a full-blown lifeboat directly in front of your cabin window or door uh, or your balcony. So when you sit out in the balcony, you're not looking at the views or anything like that. You're staring at the, at the tender. So yeah, unless that's something you're looking for because quite often they are a little cheaper, sometimes they're the same exact price. So for the same exact price, you'd probably want to get a cabin 
without that obstructed view. At least I would. Yeah, to me, those are some cabin locations that you really should try and avoid. Basically avoid any nightclubs, bars, restaurants, entertainment, obstructed views, elevators, any place a lot of people can gather for a length of time that is right beside your cabin. Those are places that you will want to avoid. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.